They swapped the monitor. My bad. Oh, that's why Vance wants to talk, wants to sit next to me now. So, game one starting. Eon playing Pokemon Trainer. Inst I've seen him play this character before, too. So You have? Yeah. He played against me. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you, man. Sorry. Hi, Vance. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Commentating this game now. Man, actually, forward tilt. Why does that lead into anything? <laughs> you know, some characters deserve buffs like that. Mm -hmm. It uh, definitely brings out different places in the meta, so... Mm -hmm. It allows different characters to thrive in the meta. We'll see how Eon... Eon told about he was going to go all Pokemon trainer, so... Oh, man. Trying to get himself back on stage. Um, it's kind of... I feel like it's a bit harder to for uh, Ivysaur to edge guard that tether grab, you know? Yeah. It's very pa fast and it's hard to react. But man, oh, no. That was a okay, miss input coming off. Yeah, the it was. Of course, that tether from Ivysaur, pretty graceful, so mm. he was able to come back on the stage. I, one thing we're not seeing Eon go for is for a lot of raising release. As I say that, he's starting to go for it a little more often than I Yo, I thought that was an up smash right there. Oh, oh. okay. Yo, me almost goes for the spirit bomb up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not really much Shina could really absorb from that uh, Psy Magnet. From, Except from that. From one, from one of my thing is that Razor Leaf registers as not a projectile, but as like a as an actual hit. So Lucas cannot actually Psy Magnet, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Razor Leaf goes for the down air. So far he hasn't been able to get there, but I still oh, appreciate it, but he gets the up air. That was a massive up air. Like, it looked like he was behind him. Like, it looked like he was hitting his tail. Mm-hmm. Oh, and there's the withdrawal, punishing that drop down from ledge, and like he already got him before he's 46 percent. He's like, okay, you're done, Squirtle. Attacking <laughs> <Like, laughs> <laughs> me out, fam. Yeah, All right. time to let the real character out to play. I mean, this character does really feel like Ivysaur and friends, to be honest. Yeah, Ivysaur and friends. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, oh man, oh. and there's the, sh there's the down air special, the the tech Shine help ain't invented. Okay, but he's still able to recover. I was a yeah. little bit scared for him, but of course, angling that PK Fender to get upwards is pretty good. So far, using the Razor Leaf to come back in and outline the oh fact that he's setting God. up. That's one thing that Shine should be paying attention to is how he's leading in with the Razor Leaf. Usually, that's a tendency that Ivysaur remains usually. I'm sorry, Pokemon Train remains usually have to do with <laughs> Ivysaur <laughs> Bane. Hey, man, that's kind of true. I mean, this, guy, <laughs> this character feel really does feel like Ivysaur and friends, but that's one tendency that they usually tend to do, right? Is lead in with, with Razor Leaf, going for the grab, going for some percent here. So you have to understand your opponent's game plan when they switch to Ivysaur. You have three game plans to actually analyze. It's kind of the thing about the matchup. Mm -hmm. Well, like, you you have to worry about Squirtle's early game. Exactly. And, and you have to deal with uh, the command gr I mean, basically, Charizard's only purpose is to get that grab. <laughs> that up throw. To, to, to get the grab, a uh, little, bit, little bit longer percents. Yeah. And the occasional switch to uh, Flare Blitz. <laughs> yeah. Shenanigans. Okay, so far, I mean, that's what you said, right? Squirtle likes to go for the early percents, right? He's kind of the combo mm. character. Once he's out, th once he's out there with the combos, there usually Ivysaur takes the lead. Mm. Okay, but so far though, now that uh, Eon is stuck in Squirtle here, Shina is putting in the damage, but he switches to Ivysaur in the nick of time. Yeah, Shina having a hard time like getting anything going. You know, like his his momentum shifts aren't really there, and there's that pressure from the downer, and that's like what you don't want to do against New Lucas. Yeah, like stay in shield because like I feel like. You could get trapped. I kind of like how he s understood that Shane was going to go for a cross up there and immediately went for the 4 tail punish. Mm -hmm. And so far he's looking to lead in oh, with that, that razor leaf. Oh, that was death. He that was totally death. hesitated. Mm -hmm. That panic. But this is this is the time for, for Charizard to shine. Okay, so far I kind of I kind of like it from you know looking for the whiff punish. He's looking for Shane to come in and punish him afterwards. Oh and no! And he goes for the PK freeze. He gets the up throw, but man, Shane. Oh, he's not dead. Yeah, it's your boy, dude. Of course he's not dead. I looked away. I was like, <laughs> I had no faith. <laughs> <laughs> have no oh, faith. Okay. In, you have no faith in your crew, man. <laughs> I looked away. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Ooh, big oof. Uh, well, that, now that stock's on. See? <laughs> the, the second the second up throw will work, I guess. Yeah. Mm. At that percent, you know it should it actually should work in theory. I'm mm -hmm. oh, sorry, not in theory. But it should work. Mm -hmm. Like, it's it's guaranteed to work at a little bit higher percent. Yeah. I'm so sorry, Kanye. How, how have you been? Thank you for coming to the hat, by the way. Be good. Be yeah. good. Yeah. I, I, so, I'm always excited to see you in the, the Kyle... <laughs> Uh, you know, Cal Poly. <laughs> they said the couch I was like, what? <laughs> oh, hold on. 
I mean, we can do we can do commentary on on, on the couch whenever yeah. you guys request it. Yo. I remember we did we did TriCast one time. It kind of worked. Yeah, TriCasting's fun. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like when we put Toasty in the mix, yeah, it, it really works. It's like, to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Toasty's Toasty's so funny. He's such a goofer. Actually, happy birthday to Toasty. It was his birthday quite recently, so happy birthday, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to that. <laughs> Shout out to him throwing up on a... We can say after the stream, man. <laughs> we can say after the stream, man. <laughs> I do like how she is actually putting pressure a little bit on Eon at the ledge. But Eon immediately comes back to the stage, and that's kind of one thing that like Eon's been able to do is kind of understand the, the range that Chine has been approaching him with. Mm -hmm. See, he, he eases himself up from the ledge to understand, like, hey, I got to watch out for PK Fire. I got to watch out for the Zare. Yeah, I feel like in this matchup, though, Ivysaur's Razor Leaf is better PK Fire. <laughs> I feel like it's faster. Oh, hands down. And it, it leads into something else. I'm not going to lie. It's actually, in my, my opinion, it's probably the top five for 2,000 in the game. Yeah, it's, that's agreeable. I think the best projectile in the game is Olimar's everything. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, but... I digress. Oh, that oh. up smash. Oh, that was unfortunate. That was actually, actually one hell of a raid. That was, that was, I, was actually, I was gonna say, that's a really good raid because you definitely anticipate the fact that Shinya was going to go for a jump option. Yeah. And that's usually, the, like I said, it, c it comes down to you understanding your opponent's game plan and knowing what the character does and knowing the fact that, oh, oh that was... Got hit with another raise relief. Yeah. Man, that moves so good in this game. I'm, I'm telling you, that's why I'm telling you it's one of my contingents for the top five pressure cards in the game. Mm -hmm. Comes in with Zare. One thing that I do like is that now that Eon switches to Squirtles, option that's kind of signals for Sheena to know like hey he's gonna be in more in my face mm -hmm. so I need to start setting up differently now that it's back to Ivysaur he's looking for the spacing mm -hmm. so you're able to kind of understand your opponent's game plan with each and every character yeah you're basically playing three characters you're playing yeah. you're playing the rushdown the sortie and then the grappler yeah I mean pretty much, <laughs> yeah you're not wrong <laughs> 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 that's what it goes down. you're fighting Zangief Rolento and then you're fighting Ryu yeah for those of you Street Fighter aficionados, but anyways. Yeah. Oh, there's a down throw that doesn't lead into anything. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> gets, Rip. The, gets, gets the berry, but uh, looking pretty cute aside from that. <laughs> yeah, because it, it does like a berry animation, but it doesn't really berry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, gets that sweet spot forward air. Now Shine looking for an opportunity to come back against Eon. Mm -hmm. I mean, Eon's kind of just taking the lead of this dance here. I'm not gonna lie, when you switch to Ivy, so like I said, look at the spacing that's gonna be between him and Shine. So he knows, like, hey, he's gonna come at me with yeah. with, a, with PK Fires there. And I have to outspace him and then go for the follow up. And now oh. Shine turns it up to a little bit of 11 here. Nah, he messed up. Um, he, um, I feel like he landed a little early and he did. Oh, the down throw up. Yeah. There. But uh, he wanted to get the last hit of the down air and I. I think he might have landed right before it happened. Cool. I, I actually want you and Tosa to commentate. All right. For, for data purposes. For data purposes. <laughs> <laughs>